Hello everyone, this is Kevin Taylor here at Sage Leaf Group uh, with more Revit tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to do the model in place extrusion. So I'm going to do the same thing as last time where I create some trim around the window, but this can be applied to many, many, many different things. So we're going to start by going to component the drop down arrow and then model in place. And then this popped up on my other screen, but this is what will normally pop up. <clears throat> and I'm going to do Windows again, just to keep it consistent with what I did before. And then Window Trim. I deleted the other, the other family, so it won't cause problems with the same name. But if you already have the same family, it'll it'll let you know. Okay. So now that we're in the Family Editor. Instead of selecting Sweep, I'm going to select Extrusion. And I'm going to start with the same approach as last time by setting the work plane. Again, because this tells you where you're going to start drawing. And again, I'm going to pick a plane and select that wall. So now I'm going to use the rotation cube to go flat on. So that way I make sure everything I draw is correct. And you can just use the rectangle tool for this instance. instance and then, again, if you want like a 3 inch, you can do an offset for 3 inches and then just draw it one more time. So each edge is one side of the boundary. <clears throat> you can do all sorts of crazy shapes with this. But if you click OK, then you have the trim already. Pretty simple. <clears throat> and the neat thing about this is you can do, you can change the shape however you'd like it. Um, the other thing with the extrusion is you don't have to be in it to adjust the uh, to adjust each side. So I can move each side around however I want. If you want one side wider than the other, <clears throat> this is something you can't do with the sweep. And then to adjust the how thick it is, go right over here. So it's going into the wall right now. So I'm going to set the extrusion end at zero, so now it doesn't go into the wall and you can set this at whatever you want so say you wanted it thicker three inches so that's the <clears throat> the model in place component using the extrusion you can select finish and there you go and if you'd like to change the material you can select it and click edit type and then actually you have to be in the family to do that sorry if you select edit in place and then select the extrusion then you can change the material type to whatever you'd like to change it to. <clears throat> you select the little three dots there. The screen will pop up and you can pick your material. And there you go. That's the model in place extrude. If there is a tool or skill in Revit that you would like to see demonstrated, please leave a comment below.